In this video, we're going to go over a high level overview of cloud security monitoring, what it means, what exactly we're monitoring for, and why we need to monitor our cloud environments. I'm also going to be going over the four major things that define what we monitor in our cloud environments. But before I get into it, a quick intro about myself. Hello there, my name is Day, and I am a cyber threat analyst and content creator. I spend most of my time analyzing security events in on-prem and cloud environments and determining if there are any risks involved in these events and if they pose threats to the organizations I work with. Now to today's video. The cloud has so many benefits it provides to organizations, which is why so many businesses and organizations are migrating to the cloud or new businesses are building their environments as cloud-native environments, meaning that they're starting up with all of their infrastructure in the cloud without any form of on-prem infrastructure. In order for us to ensure a solid security posture for our cloud environments beyond just implementing security controls and other security engineering activities, it is important for us to have visibility into our cloud environments, which is where cloud security monitoring comes in. Cloud security monitoring can essentially be defined as any activity or measure put in place to gain visibility into what is happening in our cloud environment. And this is usually possible through APIs from our cloud providers. So what are we monitoring for in our cloud environments? We want to ensure that we're monitoring for four major things. And these things can be summarized in one simple sentence. Who is performing what, when, and why? So the four things are who is performing what, when, and why? Who, what, when, and why? So who is making changes in our cloud environments? Or who is accessing our cloud environments? Is this an authorized entity? Is it a user? Or is it a service? What IAM roles or permissions does this user or service have? Number two, what changes are being made and to what resources are these changes being made to? For example, let's take an AWS environment. Is someone spinning up an EC2 instance? Is someone changing permissions for your S3 buckets? What permissions are they changing? Are they changing read permissions or write permissions? What changes are being made and to what resources in our cloud environments? The third thing is, what, when are these changes being made? Do they correlate with our normal timeline or baseline of periodical changes? Do we have a pattern of when these changes happen? And this is where things like anomaly-based detection comes in. And the fourth and final thing is why are these changes being made? Do these changes in any reason support the business or are they suspicious changes? Are they changes that could potentially be malicious in the sense that they could cost the company a lot in cloud usage bills or possibly expose sensitive user data? So these are just some of the some of the major questions we want to ask ourselves when we're monitoring our cloud security environment. So some tools we can use for these are tools like Splunk, Curator, Logarithm, Datadog, and others that can be used to ingest cloud data for login, monitoring, and alerting purposes. With these tools, we can have visibility into our cloud environments, and beyond these, we can create alerts and rules to trigger and let us as security professionals or security analysts know when certain suspicious activities are being observed or performed in our cloud environment. So some reasons why we might want to monitor our cloud environments are for compliance and regulations requirements for major, maybe our business partners or even governments that we might be dealing with. Another reason might be for threat detection and the identification of vulnerabilities that might be present in our cloud environment that we might not have known of in the past. And of course, overall, it just really ensures that we have a better security posture in our organization and in our cloud environment. So what do you guys think we should be monitoring for in our cloud environments? If you have any answers for that, please leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe, share this video with anyone who you think it will provide value to. Thank you once again for watching this video, and I will see you in the next episode of the Cloud Security Podcast. Bye-bye.